Good morning everyone. This little helpful tutorial video I'm going to make for you is going to help you register for your Check Your Knowledge chapter quizzes. One of the assignments you have in your BSC 1005 non-majors biology course. So the first thing you do, of course, is to sign in. Once you sign in, you go over to the menu over in the green area on the left of the screen. And I've already done a, a video about changing this menu into a folder view instead of the list view, which it's in now. So I'm going to go ahead change it to the folder view see if we can get that to work anytime there we go okay <clears throat> then what you're gonna do <clears throat> is you're gonna open one of the units these units contain your your um, your outlines your mini lectures your assignments okay so I'm gonna scroll down in the assignments until I find complete uh, check your knowledge chapter quizzes and then I open that by clicking on it <coughs> now I am in the um, the page that has these the um, instructions on how I'm supposed to complete my uh, registration um, I need to read a little bit here you create you create your own account using your email at mypalmbeachstate.edu you need to uh, enter my email address where it asks you to my email address is hartmanw at palmbeachstate.edu and you need to make a 70 percent minimum for me to accept the quiz so keep taking the quiz until at least you get a 70% and then I can give you your 10 points per quiz by the due date you'll have a total of 10 vid, uh, 10 chapter quizzes that you have to do <clears throat> for a total value of 100 points by the end of the term now I will update these weekly so there should be no need for you to email me saying did you get my quiz you haven't you know my scores have not been updated well I update them weekly so if you submitted your score after I updated it that week then of course it's not gonna be an immediate update you have to wait to the next week to get it updated uh, but please check every week because if you are doing them and they and you have done them right and you've registered correctly, your points should be going up in the My Grades tab down here. <coughs> uh, another little bit of information to help you out. If you click on the My Grades, you'll see a due date. You see all the assignments. You see the due dates. And then you see your grades. Okay, it's pretty simple. This class, of course, is uh, the fall of 2012. So, of course, uh, the dates are all off. But in your section, you should have these things. And um, it's a pretty quick way to tell whether your um, assignment is on, the, on time or if it's going to be late or, you know, all, all sorts of things. So let's go ahead and go back up to the... Uh, check your knowledge Ch chapter quizzes <clears throat> and let's go ahead and um, get into the publishers website here now of course I'm gonna log in uh, as a student but here we can look and see some free and open resources that any of these you can use to help you learn information for the course but the assignment check your knowledge quizzes this is what you need to check out okay so uh, one of the first quizzes I'm gonna have you do is chapter 8 so you click on that up 
look here, it says that you're going to need to uh, enter an email address that you'd like to register. Now, <clears throat> read over here, quizzes are free, but to store your results in your scorecard or your instructor's gradebook, we need to know who you are. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll just make up some phony email address. There, okay. So... <clears throat> So now I'd like to create a um, account. All right, so I'm going to enter my first name. My last name. And my password. Email address and passport. Okay, here we go. Pretty simple. Password. Okay, now hopefully, <clears throat> if I did everything right and didn't make any. Um, um, mistakes in entering the, the letters and the numbers, it'll go through hopefully. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, well there we go. So, I'm registered. I just have to remember um, what, I, what I put in as my email address, which of course you should put in your um, your my Palm Beach State .edu email address, so you don't forget. Um, I used a, a bogus Yahoo email address so that I could just give you an example. Uh, so let's see what is it says here. It, to score your quizzes in your instructor's gradebook. Well, this is this is definitely where I want to put my instructor's email that she gave me back on this page. Remember? Won't you? Uh, you must enter my... Okay, see? So I can review your scores in my grade book out on the website. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes. So I click here. And my instructor's email address is... Hopefully that will work. Continue. All right. Hopefully this will go through and you people won't have any more troubles with this. See, there we go. And then basically you just take the quiz, you know. I'm just going to just select some answers and just so that I get a quiz. Um, I know they may be wrong. I'm missing some, but... Now I want to submit it. It's going to say, oh, you did such a bad job. <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, boy. That was terrible. But um, anyway, I have this done. I can go out, look at my scorecard, and it'll tell me how terrible I did. Zero average. Oh, horrible. Okay. So... Um, there you have it. Okay, once you're done, you just basically, um, you can, you can change your profile, you can, you know, you can do all sorts of things, but to get you started, this is what I wanted to do, so I'm going to log out now, okay, and, um, <clears throat> go back to my, um, Blackboard class, and hopefully this helped you. So you guys have a good day, and until next time, I'm logging out.